found worms in my pizza. And pizza Hut put them there. He's gonna show me, like proof. Whoa! On purpose. Now, do I think it's gonna be delicious? No, I don't. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the most unique and bizarre pizzas you can find here in Asia, more specifically here in the country of Vietnam where I currently reside. I've done videos like this in the past and I thought I reached the absolute edge of what is possible with freaky pizzas. But no, pizza restaurants in Vietnam, including chains that you know like Pizza Hut, are pushing the boundaries out even further. By the end of this video, I'm gonna be trying a pizza that is covered with silkworms. But before we get there, we're gonna be trying pizzas from several different locations. Let's go. Today I'll be ordering from a lovely place known as Outcast. Here you can come and get drinks and food and hang out and it's a great place to be. It also is much more exciting looking than my office. Today I'm gonna to be ordering from three pizza locations. The first one is very local. Send me that link again. I'm not doing a comedy thing, I just need the link. Our first location, a Vietnamese place known as Pizza For You. They have a Facebook page, 300 followers, not bad. What do you do when you're small and coming up like this? You have to come up with crazy menu items that no one's ever heard before. I'm looking at their Facebook page right now. I'm seeing balls of dough, I like it. I'm seeing a pizza oven picture that's maybe from Google Images, I like it. This right here is what I'm most interested in. Now it might not look like much in the picture, but this is a very unique pizza with unique toppings. It says it has mozzarella cheese, so far normal. Then shredded dried pork, then it has salted egg yolks. And that's it. I'm gonna order that straight away. As soon as it comes, we're gonna go outside and grab it. The delivery man is here. Xin chào. Yeah. What's that? Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah, good. Just like all my first dates in high school. Just kind of grunting and trying to figure it out. This is their large size, by the way. This is why Vietnam is not nearly as overweight as the USA. This would be like a personal pizza in the USA. Thank you. You're doing the Lord's work. Bringing delicious pizza to hungry people like me. I don't know when to stop this handshake. Let's go eat. Our first pizza is here from Pizza For You. It says, try to be better. I like it. You know, when people write angry comments on Instagram and they say, do better. They should write, try to be better. We're gonna unveil the salted egg and pork floss pizza. Take a look. Wow. If I'm giving it a score just based on its looks, I would say probably like a seven or a six out of 10 because there's one issue here. If you ever listen to in-depth podcasts with Papa John's, you would know that you have to have a cheese lock. You want the cheese to lock up against the edge of the crust right here. Instead, the cheese has receded towards the center. Let's talk about the topping. We have the salted egg, of course. This carpet looking stuff, that is pork floss. This is coriander or cilantro. And then they have, it looks like purple cabbage. And then also there is pineapple. Oh yeah. Oh, it's still warm that's nice let's go for it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's not bad it's slightly chalky but it actually tastes kind of meaty it's a bit cheesy but I like it when it's ridiculously cheesy like I have to wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom because it was so cheesy yeah not number one so this is just the pure egg yolk itself mm, good but you got to mix it with everything else the pork floss is really strange. It's super dried, but it's turned out almost into a fluff or a pork cotton. You could make a sweater out of this pork. Otherwise, here, you can see I've ran out of cheese, but I mean, I've got so much real estate remaining. If I had to give this a pass or a fail, definitely I give it a pass. It's interesting, not one of my favorites, but worth a try for sure. Mm. Moving on to our second pizza. This pizza is coming from a place called The Pizza Company. This is actually a Thai-based pizza company, which has wild styles of pizza that you would never find in the USA. Let's take a look. I'm on their website right here, and they love the seafood options. For example, here we have a shrimp cocktail, and we have a seafood cocktail. They also have chicken, they've got appetizers, they've got pasta. But I would say the thing that stands out most is their pizza. They have deluxe pizzas, they have gourmet seafood. But I'm looking for pizza secret recipe. Now, why would it have to be a secret? It sounds like they're doing something naughty that they shouldn't be doing. Pizza company, are you being naughty? This right here, seafood and peach. How? Why? You guys understand, it wasn't like one guy got to decide this. Somebody said, hey, how about a seafood and a peach pizza in a boardroom full of people? And everyone said, this seems like a pretty sweet idea. Let's do it. I am going to definitely order that. And what else? Aha, right here, we have the bolalo pizza. Sonny, what's bolalo? Well, it's a bad pronunciation, first of all. But this is a beef wrapped in a beetle leaf and grilled, and you mix it with other vegetables or rice paper, and it is delicious. Below, the English translation says, grilled beef with guys leaves with hibiscus jam vegetables on the base of bolalo sauce. That sounds great. Let's try that out too. I'm waiting for the pizza guy right now. Some of these delivery drivers in Vietnam, they're so efficient, they will actually call you right before they get there because they don't want to waste time with you like putting your shoes on, walking out. So I am ready and primed. Any minute now. 
Oh, I see his flag waving in the wind. Yes, my hero. I mean, take a look at this. We are stepping things up a bit. This is an established company. He's got a protective pizza case. This box could store at least 10 different pizzas. Take a look. We've got our two pizzas right here. Oh, and a Diet Pepsi. Boom. Round two. Let's take a look at this Bola Lot pizza. Whoosh. Presentation on this one. It looks like it got a little jumbled in the box on the ride here. I'm not sure about the suspension on that guy's motorcycle. So maybe I would give it a six and a half out of 10 because it does look like a Basquiat painting, but it's also kind of like chaos by design. So maybe even I'd bump it up to a 6.9. <laughs> 6.9. Right here we have tomato. We have green bell pepper, a load of corn. I think this is a hibiscus. Then we have the signature bolalo. Now what have they done to it? They've cut it in half. Is it cool that they expose the beef? You can see what's on the inside or is it a little bit cheap? Is it like when you get a spring roll and you think, wow, there's two shrimps in this spring roll. And then you realize the lady cut one shrimp in half and then put the colorful part towards the outside. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a load of oregano on there. I find the dough to be very thin, almost crackery. This is supposed to be like bolalot. Let me show you an image of bolalot that we filmed on the streets. Now look back at this. Yeah, this doesn't look as good and as fresh, but let's try it out. Pretty good, a little processed tasting, but it's spiced nicely. You can taste the flavor coming from that leaf. In general, I think I like the texture more than the flavor. I don't want to be the guy who craps on new innovative ideas, but it's not blowing my socks off. They're still firmly attached to my feet. So that is our savory pizza. We still have a dessert pizza over here. This here, my friends, is the peach and shrimp pizza. Whoosh. I know, what is going on there? Presentation, on the one hand, it doesn't quite look like the picture, but it is colorful. I'd give it like a 7.2, but let's talk about those ingredients inside. First of all, we certainly do have big slices of peach. We've got shrimp, this looks like half a cherry tomato. We've got some mock crab, and then a pretty good amount of cheese. Oh, this looks like the ultimate piece right here. You went to your friend's house and you saw this in the USA, you would just think they were high you wouldn't think, wow, that's really creative. But let's see. Mm -hmm. There's a creamy, sweet sauce. It's cheesy. I can't tell if it's trying to be savory or sweet. Here's the big peach bite right here. Mm. Trying to be open-minded. I really am. I'm sorry. I think that's haram. The peaches just take it to another realm. I feel like I'm on an acid trip. Meanwhile, I can't stop. I've never seen a pizza so confounding. Everything my hater instincts inside say, this should suck, you shouldn't like it at all, but I kind of like it. I think I would rather try this one than this one over here. Peach and shrimp pizza, give it a try. Alas, we are moving on to our final round. Before we get to the worms, I do want to try the limo pizza. It's a pizza that's about three feet long and you can actually put three pizzas in one. So I'm going to get that as well because it's something I've not seen before. But in addition to that, we are going to look here at the worm pizza. The picture looks wild. I'm very curious because silkworms have a strong, musty aroma to them. So how does that go onto a pizza to then actually enhance the taste? We're going to order a big one and we're going to see how it tastes. Alas, our final delivery is here. Let's go see. So Joe. So apparently they have that limo pizza in there, but how would it fit? He's gonna show me, like proof. Whoa, look at the bugs. I gotta get him a sniff. Oh, it doesn't smell bad. I thought it would smell musty. And then this is our, I thought this was a meter long. It's a little bit less than a meter. Oh, okay. So the limo pizza comes in two sections. I thought it would be one big long pizza, but now that I think about it, how would they actually drive it to you if it's a meter long? Although, you know, I've seen people deliver things much more difficult than a one meter pizza. Like here's an example. Here's another example. Here's a bike with five kids on it. We will be eating this Pizza Hut meal in three courses. First, appetizers. They have a few different appetizers I thought you wouldn't usually see in the USA. The first is baked cheesy corn with bacon, cheese and corn. This is the theme in Asia. If you smear this around, you can see they basically just melted some cheese and corn and bacon together. Mm -hmm. As an appetizer, it's making me appetize to try other things. It's like oily corn. The bacon is a bit smoky, simple, nothing too complicated. Here, salmon skin salad. You might be asking, where is the salad part? Well, if you look deep within, underneath there is salad, there's bell pepper, there is lettuce, there's tomato, and they have some dressing on the side too. I just want to try the salmon skin. Somewhat crispy, because they're mixing something crunchy with something watery, the salad. Mmm, I will go one. I think a better pair will be this skin with beer. It's salty, it's crunchy, not even that fishy. Now moving on to our one meter pizza. Let's take a look, here we go. It looks a bit different from the picture. I'm not disappointed per se, but that picture made it look like a big lasagna pizza or something. Each pizza is a foot long, and then on the side here, french fries. Very nice. The flavors we got, very interesting. This is called Fisherman's Tuna. Now I think we can all agree, tuna is an unusual thing to put on any pizza. But that being said, could it be delicious? No, no, I'm just kidding. Maybe, I don't know, let's find out. Let's start with that actually. It's like a thick pillow of bread. We've got tuna, we got some more mock crab on there. Something that looks like mayonnaise. 
it's like the sauce base is almost a tartar sauce and that bread is so thick it's like you're eating cake. It's strangely satisfying. Just the name. Just something about fisherman's tuna. I picture a grizzled fisherman with a cigarette stained beard and a flask in his jacket. It's his tuna that we're eating. Right here we have the Korean barbecue. Ooh, come take a look. Lots of vegetables. What is making it Korean? Let's find out. Cheers. Mm-hmm. A little spicy, a very sweet sauce, and lots of greens. Oh, pineapple too. I'm addicted to the texture because it's so big, thick, and pillowy. It's very filling. Here we have shrimp scampi. It looks like it's missing some peaches. Where'd the peaches go? It tastes like a garlic cheese bread with shrimp on top. That's very lovely. Oh man, I gotta do CrossFit after this. Mm. Oh no, we've been here for two hours. Something happened to my rice straw. Uh-oh. From here, it seems that I've stalled as long as I could. There is one pizza remaining. That is a pizza covered in worms. It is so obvious all this video is just filler content and this is the only thing that matters right here. Wow. Presentation, 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's worms, but it just looks incredible. You wouldn't think a mainstream, big, global behemoth of a company like this would take the risk of making a pizza with an ingredient most people would agree is kind of nasty. Now, do I think it's going to be delicious? No, I don't. But maybe they pulled it off. This is the best looking pizza. It is just slathered with evenly placed worms right here, about 10 worms on there in total. There's a lot of cheese. There's a cream sauce. It's very thick and cakey. And there's mushrooms as well. Oh, cheese on the side. Very sweet. Okay, let's try it out for real. Worms and all. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. 100% you taste the worms. They have kind of a leathery skin on the outside. They kind of explode as you eat them. Take a look at this one right here. That's a big boy. I mean, you can see that's where the head would have been. It's like a wormy pate on the inside. It has a consistency of a chicken liver pate, but worm flavored. It's weird. The flavor of the worm blends in with everything else there. The sauce is very sweet and creamy. There's these little lime leaf on here, which offers some nice freshness. And then you're reminded every once in a while that, oh yeah, I'm chewing on a worm in my pizza. Just so out there. <laughs> Here's what this is good for. You like pizza, but your roommates always eat your pizza when you're sleeping. Boom, problem solved. This is what everyone does. Oh, dude, there's pizza in the... No, never mind. All right. Keep that closed. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So that is the warm pizza here in Vietnam. From here, I'm gonna tell you which pizza was my absolute favorite and my least favorite of the day. Boom, well, guys, that is the end of the video. I gotta say, from everything I tried, my absolute least favorite was probably the bola lot pizza. It was a good idea, but in the end, it didn't leave me feeling satisfied. I liked the crust, but the flavors, they weren't popping for me. Oddly enough, probably the one that stood out to me that I wanna secretly take another bite of is the fisherman's tuna. In the end, I love that Pizza Hut is doing this very unusual pizza, and I'm very curious if they're gonna sell a lot or if it's just more for social media or are people actually going to go out and buy this pizza if this warm pizza was available where you live would you actually order it and try it out also i want to say a huge thank you to saigon outcast for letting us film here today this is a very fun venue i recommend it during the burning hot days in saigon when you need to cool down with a cold refreshing beer or get some delicious food come check out saigon outcast otherwise guys that is it for this one thank you so much for watching i will see you next time a pee all right i think i'm lactose intolerant that pizza just went right through me Whew.